that moment when you finally find the perfect Corvette. Let me show you guys what I found. So I'm in this group called Corvette Buy, Sell, and Trade. I also do Facebook Marketplace, and they have a lot of cool Corvettes for sale. Uh, if you guys are interested, I also look at Auto Tempest, which puts all of the websites together and dealers um, offer up as well as Craigslist. But I found this pretty sweet Corvette on Corvette Buy, Sell, and Trade. Let me show you guys the car. So I posted on the Facebook Marketplace that I was looking for a black Corvette, and this guy actually hit me up with what looks to be the most perfect Corvette. I ended up FaceTiming him, and this car looks perfect. So I'm gonna call my bank and see if I could get approved if i could get the money i'm gonna be flying out to texas because that's where he's located and picking it up so wishing for the best i really really hope i could get this welcome to navy federal credit union when i tell you i love navy federal credit union i totally mean it we got approved for the loan let's pack up get the plane tickets and head off to texas <laughs> So I got the flight to Dallas, basically departing from Orange County to Vegas, Vegas to Dallas. Once when we get to Dallas, pick up the car, drive all the way back. We're about to go get my next car, add it to the fleet. over here in Vegas gonna get some drinks get something to eat and then we're gonna head over to Dallas so two hours Let's see what we can do see you guys in three hours just made it here in Dallas don't know what to do yet. We're gonna go eat, get a hotel, and meet up with them tomorrow. So while we wait here in Dallas, when in Rome, gotta try it out. I've heard a lot of awesome videos about this, especially the rolls. We're gonna see exactly how it tastes. Pretty excited. In the morning, we'll go into the car buying process at the bank. It's about 40 minutes away or so, but uh, Texas Roadhouse, might as well. We're also gonna try Whataburger, and then compare it with In-N-Out as well. We got the rolls right here. This is actually really, really good. These drinks are absolutely humongous. I don't know what size they are, but they're big. Hopefully they have a lot of alcohol in them too, but these things, California can never. Thanks to Roadhouse. Pretty fire, definitely come back again. It is the next morning here at DFW. I'm at a hotel right outside the airport. It's a meeting with the seller at 10 o'clock at his bank. Gonna check out the car there. I'm gonna do some preliminary checks. There are some things with the C7s that are common with the issues like the wheels, drive shaft, overheating. I'm not worried about overheating. Um, I gotta check the oil and a lot of other little things. And uh, if it all looks good, we're gonna pull the trigger and get the, uh, get the car. I'm very excited to pick up the car. I've seen it on FaceTime, uh, did it virtually, but have not seen it in person just quite yet. So it looks like the Batmobile. Very, very excited to see how it will look like in person. Um, so in about like an hour, we'll be right there. At this point, the drive to meet with the seller was so nerve wracking. I was so scared that there's gonna be something wrong with the car or something else that caused me to say no to it, leaving me empty handed on my way home to California. But this is the car in all of its glory. This had to be one of the quickest transactions I've ever done with the car, literally less than 10 minutes. I made sure that the wheels had no cracks, drive shaft was not shaking, no leaks, and everything was to my liking. So I paid the seller and now we finally have it. And just like that, we finalized the deal here with my 2015 C7 Corvette Z06 with the Z07 carbon fiber package. I'm so excited to dive into this. The seller did leave it a little bit dirty. I'm not going to lie here. However, I'm gonna gas up. We're gonna head back home. 
this thing is so nice. I really want to show you guys in a, in a better view. It's so hot. It's like 110 degrees here over in Dallas, Texas. I did not record too much of the seller's interaction because it was so quick. It was like 10 minutes. We were in, we were out, gave him the money. We did the title and registration and all that that we possibly could do. And uh, now it's in my hands. Now I have a very, very, very long drive home, about 24 hours. I want to stop at the Grand Canyon. I want to stop in Vegas and then back to home in Orange County, California. So with all that being said and done, let's go home. Let's gas up. Let's fill up the tires. Let's prep for this long, long drive. I'm so excited. I finally landed one of my dream cars. And uh, now I'm going to get acquainted with it driving it home man the feeling when you get into your new car is unreal i was so nervous i was excited so much mixed emotions and i needed to learn this car asap i had no idea what these buttons were but let's go ahead and gas up right now first time gassing up the corvette seeing these prices instead of six seventy seven dollars even up to eight dollars in california 493 is a lot better i definitely want to convert to e85 in the future i'll take those gas prices we'll see the gas prices going there the seller left me about a half a tank or so which is okay um and so we're gonna gas up do our first gas up get some energy go all the way home and uh oh my gosh i still cannot believe this is my car this is insane i love the wing i got all of the carbon fiber i got all of the accessories the wing looks so menacing i may want to get the big zr1 wing who knows the wheels the carbon fiber splitter i do need to get this thing detailed because it's not in the best condition look at all of this she just looks so good Some goods for the roads, energy, and hydration. Corvette's uh, first fill up. Let's see what it is. Again, it wasn't a full tank. It was about a quarter or so, quarter to half. 60 bucks total. That's not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. So now let's head off to the Grand Canyon or as far as we could go west. Man, this first drive was unreal. The first thing that I noticed right away is how lightweight and aerodynamic this car is. I'm so used to the Shelby GT500 and the Classic being so heavy and not aerodynamic, and this thing was just so smooth, cutting through air, and I loved every single part of it. Lots of features on this car that I need to learn, but we're gonna go more in depth on the first drive in the next couple of videos, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Pulling up to Whataburger, Whataburger, we're gonna see this is better than in and out First time trying Whataburger, I will let you guys know. This is one of the places I wanted to visit, and as well as Texas Roadhouse. So we've done both of them, let's go inside. Got the Whataburger, I got the Double Double, the cheeseburger, french fries, and where's my drink? Let me go grab my drink. We got the Double Cheeseburger, kind of like the um, Double Double at in and out I'll try it out. Good. Is it better than in and out? I feel like in and out's better. Fries though. Fries are not bad. Whataburger definitely doesn't meet even close to in and out. It's more like a Carl's Jr. Burger King type deal. It was good though. It wasn't as good as it now maybe they have secret stuff i don't know about but texas roadhouse i also had whataburger those are all the two places i want to eat while here in texas i wish i had more time i would have gone to a more authentic rib place but when i come back and have more time i'll go adventure but uh, now that we have that let's gas up because i see over there a gas station that starts with a three dollar so let's check that out gas up and head over about $75 for 16 gallons, not too bad. Second fill up, almost out of Texas. New Mexico is coming very, very shortly. And uh, so we'll just wait until we get to the next stop. This lasts me four hours. I got about 20 miles per gallon on this thing on average, going about 85 miles per hour cruising. Very aerodynamic, so I love how light this thing is. 
good gas mileage for a highway. I should be in at the Grand Canyon probably around midnight Pacific time because we are going to be changing time zones to Mountain and then Pacific. So, so far she's doing pretty good with gas. It's not too bad, but uh, let's get right back on the road. I forgot to mention how much I bought the car for. He asked $65,000. I talked down to 63 because there are some things wrong with the car that we'll discuss later on. Not too bad for a $75,000 car if I were to say so myself. We just made it to New Mexico. Now we have to drive this full entire state until Arizona, where we're gonna get at the Grand Canyon. So ETA is 12.30 Arizona time, which I think is the same as Pacific time, because it's in, um, Pacific is in the daylight time, daylight savings time. So, 12 more hours. Cruising at 85 miles per hour, wide open, no traffic. We'll be there in about nine hours or so. Nine or eight hours. I think nine hours. Let's get it. We are in the middle of New Mexico. I have no idea, but we made the conversion from 93 to 91. Make sure, hopefully this thing is okay. Fueling up at Love's. So, we have about five hours until the Grand Canyon. She's been doing really good, 20 miles per gallon, averaging 90 miles per hour throughout the full way. Cruise control, everything is going well so far. She's looking so good. Five hours to go into the Grand Canyon. $69 for the second fill up in halfway, New Mexico. $4.20. Last time I wanna see $4 until we get to California, that's for sure. We're looking good, looking real good. So I just bought my new car, picked it up from Texas. I'm driving all the way back to California. I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. I'm gonna do the full reveal video on YouTube, but I wanna give you guys a little sneak peek and let's see if you guys could guess it. So I'm gonna do a little cold start here for you. I did a little sneak peek on my TikTok and the comments went crazy. Everybody thinks I bought a Hellcat, Corvette, or Camaro. You guys are super, super close. A lot of you guys guessed it based off of the starter itself. So you guys have really good ears as well as the exhaust. But I uh, love giving out these little short videos. Long, long drive, uh, about 10 more hours to go. I am so tired. We are on hour 14 of our 15 hour drive. It's tough. It's always the very last hours. It's 11 p.m. We should get there at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. We're getting there. We're getting. This is the longest peak. After that, we only have a four-hour drive to Vegas tomorrow, and then a five-hour drive from Vegas to Los Angeles. So she's doing really, really good. Super smooth, cruising at 90 miles per hour throughout this full thing. So. We're almost to the finish line. One more hour and we'll make it. I did fill up already. Let me show you that. Gas is getting more expensive as we get to the West Coast. $5.20, $83 to fill up. We got to need it. What am I going to do? Not fill up? I ended up crashing right after that video. Got a hotel like two minutes away. And this is the next morning. For some odd reason, I've always wanted to visit the Grand Canyon and might as well go to Vegas because it's on the way heading west from Texas. We hit Route 40 or Interstate 40, which is Route 66 as well. So saw a lot of cool historic highways. This is on the way to the Grand Canyon, very, very hot. And you'll see later on it starts raining very, very shortly. But you know what? I know this, this is a car show, but let's get some nature involved. Not gonna bore you guys too much with the nature because I know you guys just wanna see the car, but for all those that want to see the Grand Canyon, for some odd reason, just like I do, here she is. Finally made it at the Grand Canyon. First time ever here. I don't know why I wanted to visit, but I just wanted to. And it's on the way to Vegas, so we're going to check it out here. Here she is. And let me tell you, as soon as I saw this, I didn't even think it was real. This honestly looks like a painting and video does absolutely no justice. If you are having a fear of heights, this is also not a place to go because this actually got me a little bit scared. They do put you pretty close to the cliffs with the guardrails but it is so high off the ground and I felt like I needed to stay off the edge. It was absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend it if you're around the area or want to visit, it definitely is worth it. Very, very gorgeous. I, I can tell you, I thought it was a painting. I honestly thought I was looking at a painting. So yeah, the Grand Canyon. So after I left the Grand Canyon, it started raining for some odd reason because it was literally 110 degrees and sunny as soon as I arrived. 
but uh, the rain was very nice because it cleared off the windshield all the bugs and dirt and grime off of the windshield so i actually had something very nice three hours later i ended up in vegas i wanted to celebrate the new car have some fun eat some good food meet up with some friends and do what you got to do in vegas because why not i bought my dream car i did not record the drive home from vegas to orange county because i left at like 12 a.m. got there super super late it was a three and a half hour drive with absolutely no traffic but this car did the road trip with no problems whatsoever i love it i got acquainted with it so so much again i think it was 24 hours total i drove even more longer 1500 miles we made it we're at home let's do the review over 24 hours of driving and she's finally home she's very very dirty Camera doesn't do justice. Let's give it a first quick wash here, right next to Drew's McLaren as well. She's all moist. Let me go ahead and get her washed. Let's talk about the car and see exactly what I got here on the channel here for us. So, super, super excited. 68 Fast Pack is in the garage. Now we have a Z in the garage as well. What a lineup. Daisy is getting its new cooling system as well as fixing that leak which you could see all this cool link that she left here we got a 68 fastback with the coyotes bob we have a c7 z06 z07 performance package and a 65 ac shelby cobra what a lineup let's go ahead and watch this bad boy